Hello and welcome to Workhouse Trainer. In this video I would like to talk to you a little bit about horse behaviour and how they function as a herd. How can we as humans communicate with horses in a way that makes sense to them and helps us build a reliable and strong working relationship with them? We keep our horses as a close little herd. At the moment, there's our bay roan Henry, who used to be a stallion, but was gelded two years ago. He's Flora's father. Then there's our skewbold Winnie, Flora's mother, and Flora herself, who will be four this year. They run together all the time, in summer in the field, in winter in a dry paddock with access to the barn. They are able to interact and communicate freely with each other all the time and they constantly have to say something. They also can move around as much as they fancy. I think that this is the most natural lifestyle we can offer our domesticated animals and it makes for a more relaxed and balanced horse. I want to show you this clip because it demonstrates hard hierarchy and social interaction so well. Flora's brother Arthur was still with us then. It is feeding time. Every horse has their bowl. Flora and Arthur share one. And they all know their place. This small herd is well settled and no fighting over food is necessary. Winnie is the bossy mare. Henry comes somewhat behind her. And Flora and Arthur are the youngsters who are expected to take the lowest places. You can see that Arthur takes off after a while. He's curious to check out the hay which he knows I've put out for all of them in the barn. Then Flora thinks she needs to check what her brother is doing and surely drives him out again. Now Winnie finished her food and checks for leftovers from the youngsters. Arthur, who is further down the hierarchy, shifts willingly. As Winnie goes for some hay, he and F Flora can now check out Winnie's bowl Nothing much happens, so Cole Tit thinks it is her moment to enter the stage. Then Flora decides she will test boundaries with Henry and is clearly put in her place by him. You can see how Flora moves away when Winnie approaches. Flora accepts that Winnie can go where she chooses. Now Arthur tries to sneak up on Henry. Also, Henry's place is overall lower within the herd. When it comes to food, he has certainly made his position clear and Winnie doesn't dare to challenge him at all. Only the youngsters see it as their job to test established boundaries. Communication amongst horses is complex and varied. Most of it consists of very subtle gestures, like the tiniest move of an ear or the shift of a gaze. I encourage you to observe your horses. You can learn a lot about them. And you can also learn their way of communicating and use it in your own interaction with them. Here I am with Flora, establishing our relationship. It is not equal. It never can be, because for working with her in a safe way, I need to be the leader. First I drive Flora from me. Only the more dominant herd member would do this. But as she has already accepted my leading position from a young age, she obligingly moves away when I signal her to do so with an upright body position and by waving my arms. A dominant horse would wave their neck and head. One way of showing that Flora wants to follow my leadership is that when I stop driving her, she immediately wants to follow. She also chews with her teeth and licks her lips. She then follows me contently, without lead rope. My body language now is sending out signals that I accept her submission. My gaze is pointed away from her, and my shoulders are pointed forward. I try to be as non-threatening as possible. Flora hangs her head and follows me with relaxed lower lip. As far as she is concerned, her world is put right by her leader, me, allowing to follow. She is then happy to stand whilst I brush her down with my hands, another tool to reinforce our bond and test her acceptance of me. And she's happy for me to signal with firm strokes that I'm safe to be with and mean her no harm. This is a very effective, simple exercise everyone can do with their horse to establish their leadership position. When a horse has accepted her subordinate position, this exercise does not need to carry on for long at all, as seen in some round pen videos out there. 
in nature, a dominant horse would never waste their energy to drive around an already submissive horse. If you try to do this and you don't know your horse very well and you're not sure whether your horse might actually challenge you and not accept your leadership, just be careful and always wear a helmet and have somebody on standby. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, Flora demonstrates what an exceptional horse she is and how easy it is to work with her. Another time and with another horse, we may look so readily accepted as the leader. But firstly, in our next video we will start introducing some tools in our training with Flora. So tune in again or subscribe to Workhorse Trainer. Bye for now.